Hi there, Troy Harrison, and today we're going to talk about the number one all-time greatest best ever invented way of helping you retain and keep your customers. Are you ready? Here it is. Try to sell them something else. That's it. Sorry, I know it sounds really simple, but it's true. The best way that you can retain your current customers, the best retention selling technique ever, is to try to sell your customers something else that they're not already buying. And here's why. When you try to sell somebody something else, it stimulates meaningful dialogue. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Most of the time, salespeople who are already selling to a customer are going to come by on what's called a PR visit. They're going to go, hey, Joe, how are you? Did you see that football game last Sunday? Boy, that was a heck of a game, wasn't it? Can you believe that he dropped that pass? And now we're going to spend 15 minutes talking about football. The salesperson's going to leave going, yeah, they love me. And the customer's going to be sitting there going, okay, what was, what was the purpose of that meeting again? There's no meaningful dialogue there. You could, of course, take it to the next level. You could perform a customer survey. You say, hey, Joe, how's everything going? And Joe's probably going to say, fine, even if things aren't going fine. And the reason is there's no lever. There's no reason for Joe to tell you anything different. And he if he tells you that everything's going fine, then it makes for a pretty easy sales call. There's no confrontation there. But here's the truth. You get the real customer research when you ask somebody to tie meaning to their words. In other words, the real customer feedback comes out when you ask somebody to cut a check. You could go in and ask somebody, hey Joe, how's everything going? And they'll say, fine. But yet, if you go in and say, hey Joe, you know, we've been doing business with you for quite a while and we've sold you an awful lot of fasteners over the years and I really appreciate that business and I've enjoyed the relationship. I'd really like to talk to you about our, your cutting tool business because I think we might be able to help you out on the cutting tools as well. Now you're putting some meat into the conversation. If there's an objection to what you're doing with the fastener business, Joe's going to come right out with it and say, you know, you guys have been late on a lot of shipments lately. I'm really not happy about that. You will hear feedback that you won't hear if you're just asking how everything's going. Of course, salespeople love to just do the how, how's everything going because they hate to hear negativity. Anything that stimulates negativity is bad in the mind of a lot of salespeople. But here's the problem. If you don't hear the negativity, it doesn't go away. Your competitors will hear the negativity. Would you rather hear it or would you rather they hear it? So if you want to retain your customers, always try to have them in some sort of a sales process. What could that be? Well, you could sell an additional product line that you're not selling them right now. You could sell an additional service level or a higher service level. You could upsell to a higher quality of product. You could even sell a price increase. Believe it or not, that's a sales tax as well. You could get a higher price for the product that you're already selling them if you can justify it. Sell a higher quality item. Or finally, try to gain a referral or testimonial. Any one of those techniques, ask the customer to put some skin in the game and quantify how good your relationship is going. And then if negativity does come out, stop the selling process, go back and fix the problem that the customer's got. But you will hear those problems much more clearly and in a much more timely fashion if you're trying to upsell them. And of course, if you're always trying to upsell your customers, that means you're trying to develop, develop your customers and make them more profitable. And that's always a good thing. So if you want to retain your customers, keep them in some sort of a sales process. Always try to be qualifying them for new products, analyzing their needs to see how they change, and presenting new product recommendations as it is appropriate. You'll find that you'll hang on to your customers a lot more. You'll get a lot more sales because, hey, it's easier to sell a customer that you have than the customer you don't have. And at the end of the day and at the end of the year, your territory is going to grow a lot more than it would have otherwise. Hope that helps. I'm Troy Harrison. You can find out more about me at TroyHarrison.com. See a lot more videos, read a lot of articles, and if I can be of help, please give me a call. Good luck and good selling. Thank you.